strategy. Your attack is monotonous. Big applause for him until now. Uh, you can yeah, the you My power is stronger than this. Huh? I'm pretty good, huh? Must be tough. I'll take it from here. Count on me. You shouldn't play the martyr. Yes, I have 
avoid the attack. You're ever in danger. Come on! I'll take care of this. You should stay back! Battles. Yeah. Leave it to me. 
My power is stronger than this. What? This is my fate! Don't you think my skills are pretty useful? What? 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 This is my power! Oh, yes. One strategy, and a very good one. Yes! Big applause for hanging on until now. Huh? Even Rue gets exhausted sometimes! Come on! This is my power! If you're tired, I'll take your place! I feel fine! Well then, shall we take a break for now? Princess! Rue, I see that you're all okay! Yes, ma'am. The mission was a success. 
Hey, must be nice to make it back to your old home. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I really mean it. Isn't that great, Juto? We finally retook the island. Yes. At long last. Let's go to the village. Princess! It's been a long time. It is inexcusable that I took so long. Gramps! Juto! Oh my, you're alive! Yeah. Thank goodness. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'm glad you're all right. Were you hurt, Gramps? They didn't do anything bad to you, did they? Everyone suffered during the occupation by the Northern forces. But a while ago, they suddenly just up and left. And I tell you, things finally got quiet in the village again. I'm glad to hear it. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for saving our island, Princess. 
Not at all. You must have been disappointed at our powerlessness while the Northern forces occupied Highwind Island. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Well, that's all in the past now. I'm sure that with a little time, the villagers will come to understand the position you and the Southern forces were in. By the way, Juto, Melissa isn't with you? Uh... I'm afraid she's been missing ever since the day our island got caught up in this war. She's... Melissa's in opposite. She was hurt during a battle, so she's... Uh, she's being treated now, I guess you could say. She sends her regards. She did, did she? It must be the will of Lestrada. Just so long as she's alive, that's the important thing. In any case, allow me to thank you again on behalf of the village. You have our undying gratitude. Now you all must be exhausted. Please sit down and rest. I'm gonna go say hi to everyone in the village. You do that, everyone will be very surprised. Princess, so this is where you got to. Yes. When I came here, I couldn't help thinking back to everything that happened. Um, thank you. I really mean it. No. The Southern forces should have dealt with this in the first place. I... I always had faith that you would rescue the island. I knew that you would keep your word. No matter what. But... it came too late. No. What matters is that you managed to take it back. <laughs> Princess, lately, you've had a depressed look on your face. Did... did something happen? To tell you the truth, I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? Juto, as of today, I want you to leave the Counter-Sentinel unit. Why would you ask me to do that? To keep the island safe from any more invasions, we're going to station troops here. I want to put you in complete charge of the island's defense and reconstruction. This is your home, so I can relax knowing it will be in good hands. Are you... are you ordering me to stay behind on Highwind Island? But Melissa and I still haven't... Juto, do you think you're capable of fighting her? What? I don't mean to sound so cold. But the day may come when you will have to kill her. If it does, will you be able to raise your sword to her without hesitation? That's why... That's why you're telling me to get out while I can? So I can avoid that? That's right. I really do want to help you, but I can't do anything more. I'm sorry. This is the best that I can do. Why are you... Earlier, you asked me a question, remember? Are you marrying Alex because you love him? The answer is no. I needed more power in order to take back Lonsheim. And so, in exchange for Alex's backing, I promised that I would marry him. Right now, I'm just a puppet dancing on other people's strings. The real power is in the hands of General Headquarters. <sighs> If the Southern forces roll out in full force to attack Melissa, I... When that happens, I'll have to give the order to kill her. Princess... 
I don't want you to see me do that. So I'm begging you, please, stay on the island. You won't be able to fight Melissa, Juto. So if you're going to quit, now is your only chance. <sighs> Goodness, I talked forever. <laughs> Come on, let's go back. A puppet. Just how fragile is this armor that she has so securely strapped herself into? It was in this agonized look on her face that I thought I caught a glimpse into her violently trembling heart. Ah, Princess, did you get a good night's sleep, I hope? Yes, it was the best sleep I've had in ages. Juto, how about you? Oh my, you're not looking well at all. No, I was so excited about being back here, I couldn't get to sleep. <sighs> I see. That's understandable. Anyway, seeing you grown into such a fine warrior, well, it fills me with mixed feelings. Gramps. We've been through some hard and trying times, but eventually we managed to get our island back. I plan to work extra hard to rebuild it. Yeah, and I plan to do everything I can to help you. Thank you. I really appreciate you saying that. Speaking of which, I have a bit of a favor to ask of you. What? You know, I hate to ask you to do such a thing, but I couldn't possibly entrust it to one of the villagers. What is it? Well, you see, it's... Uh, do you remember a place called Windsong Caverns? Yes, that's the cavern where the Guardian was discovered, isn't it? The entire time the Northern forces were on the island, they were up to something in there. They were? Over a period of time, they took several villagers into the caverns, and not one of them was ever seen again. They never came back? No. I don't know what went on inside those caverns, but I... I don't think that any of them are still alive. I want to go and collect their belongings, but not a single one of the villagers will go near the place. They're terrified that they won't come back alive either. I understand. I'll go. I hate to ask. Gramps, I'll be fine. I'm not the same man I used to be. Something like this would be no big deal. I'll go too. No, Princess, I can't ask you to. It was a Southern Forces blunder that's to blame for the island ending up like this. So please, let me atone for it. You would do this for us? I truly am grateful to you, Princess Rosfilda. There's really no need for you to do this, Princess. No, let me go. <sighs> All right. Rue, we need to talk. What can I do for you, Princess Rosafilda? In that case, I will accompany you. There is no telling what might happen in the caverns.
All right, let's go. I'll take it from here. Count on me. Come on! I'm gonna be strong! Understood. I don't want you to push yourself too hard. This is my power! So I will cover you. Slow. I can see what you're doing. Those bastards! They used the villagers as raw materials for sentinels. How could they do such a thing? Damn. They put the villagers through this? I swear it! Quiet. Calm down, everyone. We don't appear to be alone here.
All right, let's go! This is just a stretch! Call me if you're ever in danger. This is my power! to help. yourself this hard.
This is my power! You shouldn't have pushed yourself for me. Call me any time. It'll be best. This is the end. No matter how tough it gets, you can never give up. I'll heal you now.
Be strong. Juto, I'm coming to the I don't want now. you to push yourself too hard. I can still take it! 
This is my power! Rational decisions are tested on the battlefield. My skills are pretty useful. Go back to the village. Princess Rosavilda, that was most reckless of you. No, I'm fine. My wizardry can easily deal with this. Princess! My body is numb and I can't... I can't move my arm. I can't use wizardry like this. Was it that attack just now? It looks like that sentinel was poisonous. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be a fast-acting poison, so maybe... Hmm. Antidotes don't seem to be working. As a Mare, perhaps Celestine will be able to treat it. All right, then. I will go on ahead to the village and fetch Celestine. That should... Rue, I'm counting on you. Let's do that, then. I'll stay with the princess. Right. Look after Princess Rosafilda. As I watched Rue grow smaller in the distance, anger towards Zephy boiled up inside me for some reason. I feel terrible about what happened to those villagers. I really do. <sighs> that sentinel was probably made from someone in the village. I'm sorry, Juto. If we had retaken the island sooner, 
maybe those villagers would still be alive. <coughs> you aren't hurt, are you? <coughs> Juto? Why... Why do you take such huge risks? Huh? Seriously, why do you have to push your luck like this? Uh. Please, start worrying about yourself more than other people. Why do you try to shoulder everything yourself? Princesses are too good to share the burden? Uh, I'm sorry. Don't apologize! Don't! I I'm the one who should be apologizing, right? It's my fault you got hurt! It's my fault! Oh. You're always worrying about other people! Do you think your hard work pays off? Look at what happens! Seriously, how stupid can you get? Are you laughing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know this is no time to be laughing. This is the first time anyone but Rue has gotten this mad at me. Plus, the way you talked to me changed all of a sudden. Oh, um, I didn't mean to. My apologies, Princess. No, please stop all that. It doesn't suit you. I want you to treat me informally. If you really care about me. But... Argo and Crocelle treat me informally, too. It's not because they're rude or disrespectful. It's a sign of their trust. They said that they want to relieve some of the pressure I'm under as princess. How can I put this? If I had the choice, I wouldn't want to be born as a princess. But I can't set it down or walk away from it. If I gave up here, even more lives would be lost. If that happened, I would regret it for the rest of my life. So please, I want you to try to understand the position I'm in. Besides, you've saved me dozens of times. Isn't helping each other what friends are for? <sighs> Your body. Can you move? <laughs> it's still a little numb. In that case... Um... Zephy. Huh? I'll carry you. What? You can't walk, right? Don't be such a baby. Uh, but... but I... Uh... This is no time for embarrassment. Uh, right. When I saw Zephy from behind as she took the hit from me, I realized something. I realized that I wanted to protect her. Lovely. It's strange that I never saw this in all the time I was here before. They're fireflies, and they don't usually stand out. I guess there's a time when they light up. Looks like that time is right now. So anyway, Zephy? Huh? I... I've made up my mind. I'm gonna go with all of you. Why? It came to me when I saw what had been done to all those villagers. That I can't forgive the northern forces for creating sentinels. So I... I want to try to persuade Melissa. Are you sure? I don't think it will be that easy. Yeah, but I'm gonna try. There might be even more trying times ahead. I... I don't want you to put yourself at risk, Juto. Don't worry. I'll be ready for the worst case scenario. I'll be ready to lift my sword against Melissa. <sighs> I never thanked you properly for what you did back there. Thanks for taking the hit for me. But in the end, I only caused more trouble for you. I'm not. I just wish... 
I wish you'd think of yourself a little more, Zephy. Juto... I understand there are responsibilities that you have to bear as a princess, but I... I want you to think of yourself. To live for yourself. I do. I do think of myself. That's a lie. You always put yourself second, right? Rely on me to do a little. Rely? Yeah. Until the war ends and you can go back to where you belong. Until that day, I'll fight at your side. <sighs> but, if you do manage to persuade Melissa, I don't want you to think twice. Your fight ends right then and there, alright? Juto, there's no need for you to take to the battlefield prepared to die. I won't die, no matter what. The directive of counter-sentinel unit soldiers is, absolutely don't die, remember? <laughs> You're such a dope, Juto. I'm no such thing. I gave it a lot of thought, and that's the conclusion I reached. That's why you're a fool. That's the conclusion you reached after carefully thinking things over? <laughs> In the faint light of the fireflies, the caverns were a magical sight. Maybe that pale light looked even more beautiful when it was lit up by the glow from Zephy's smiling face. should work on this! I'll start treating you right away! Thank you, Celestine. The numbness seems to be gone. I'm still feeling pretty weak, though. So that sentinel just came at you out of nowhere? I'm surprised. What's going on around here? It's because the Northern forces were taking villagers into the caverns to create sentinels. Those cowardly bastards! They're not just using Trewa, but unresisting humans as well? I'm going to find out who is behind these disgusting, horrible acts. Only someone capable of performing the Blood Pact can create a Sentinel. You know, the old man of the village might know something.
We're back, Gramps. Oh, well done! I must apologize. If only we had retaken the island sooner, these horrible things would not have... We can only pray that such things never happen again. Old man, there is something that I want to ask you. What is it? Who was it that took the islanders into the caverns? It was... Elgar, and... The other person called himself Huren. What? Elgar? He came back to the island? That's right. He came every once in a while during the occupation. Oh, what a horrible man. The abominable things he did. I see. Elgar. Damn it! The next time we meet, I'll show him no mercy! Don't try it, Juto. That man's strength isn't normal. You mustn't try to take him on. After all the horrible things he did to you, you're telling me just to leave him alone? <sighs> please, please have mercy. Why are you taking our villagers into the caverns? What are you doing to them? Please. At any rate, I'm only using those of no value. You should be grateful. Uh, what have we done to deserve this? Why would you do such a thing? Your people have done nothing wrong. I have but one simple goal. To thoroughly crush anywhere in the world he might call home. What do you mean? What are you saying? <laughs> it's time for some fun experiments. But, Juto, I just don't want you to put yourself in danger. Gramps. Will you stay here on the island? I mean, you're coming back when Melissa's injuries are healed, aren't you? And don't worry, you can live here just like you did before. About that, Melissa's... she's still in bad shape. It looks like it'll take a while. But as soon as Melissa's better, I'll come back to the island. You will? I see. In that case, Elgar is dangerous, so you stay away from him, got it? Yeah, I understand. I lied to Gramps. I had to. I'd persuade Melissa and bring her back with me. Until then, I couldn't come back to the island. With that resolve held fast in my heart, I returned once again to Albazet. Fighting Zephy? Why would I do that? 
At last, the time is ripe. I now possess all the Khan necessary to save the world. And the command has finally been polished to perfection. Contact Alex. As you wish, Lord Shuenzite. All will be done according to your will. You have also served me well. I am content to have been able to conduct my sentinel experiments. The terror of the people as they lay dying, the joy of creation as I build them anew, it sends thrills up my spine. We are not waging this war for our own amusement. Do not forget our cause. I am most grateful of all for the chance to immerse myself in this research, thanks to our noble cause. <laughs> the southern forces have taken the island? Yes. As I recall, you begged Claire to bring back the bulk of our forces from there. It looks like the southern forces availed themselves of that opening and swept in. I'm not concerned. I know Juto will protect the Islanders. Have you forgotten that he is the enemy? Juto will come back, if only his memories would return. You think he would be allowed to simply come back? I won't allow it. You... You're afraid of Juto, aren't you? I dare you to say that again. I'll see to it that you can't say it a third time. I'll drag Judo back here. After all, this is where he belongs. <laughs> drag him back, you say? If he had believed what you said, he would have accepted your invitation. Perhaps he has grown attached to the so-called princess. <laughs> Mark my words. He won't come back just because you are here. Huh? <laughs> hmm? You can sleep in if you want. That's okay. I wasn't expecting you to be here when we got back to Abaset, but it didn't work out that way. I... Uh, I guess I was wrong. I... Do you think I made a self-centered decision? No. Even back when you guided us to Windsong Caverns that first time, you didn't back down until the very end. Still, thank you for staying. For a second, I thought that you might be tempted to go over to the Northern Forces because you believed in Melissa. <laughs> I can't really express it well, but... In any case, I'm glad that you... I, um... I'm glad that you... Uh... You're trying to say thank you, right? Huh? Uh... <sighs> yes. Oh, come on. I didn't stay because I was looking for your thanks. <sighs> Listen, Zephy, there's... <sighs> Something that I want to ask you. What? Have... Have you and I met before? Hmm, no, I think we met for the first time on the island. Why? Juto, has your memory come back? Uh, no. So, why do you ask then? Forget it. It's nothing. Oh. Princess Rizafilda, so this is where you have been. What is it, Rue? There are things that we need to do to prepare for the battle at Ruhalt. I'm to relay them to you. I see. In that case, let's call everyone together. It was... It was just a dream. It must have been. Just a dream. At the time, I hadn't realized it yet. That dream was an omen, a sign, telling me the terrible truth.
It appears that the Northern forces have deployed a newly developed anti-personnel mine in the Ruhalt Basin. These mines will explode a set length of time after they have been stepped on. They will also automatically detonate if a set level of Khan is generated. These guys love their new toys, don't they? For this mission, we will use lightning bombs to minimize losses from the mines. Lightning bombs are heavily loaded with lightning con, and because that reacts to metal, it has the effect of pulling out the mines. A local businessman named Fywine will assist us in making all the lightning bombs we'll need. I asked him if he would mind helping us out the other day. I see. Well then, I think we should go and see this Fywine fellow.